Princeton and Princeton Junction do battle on the ice. Princeton Junction, of course, being the West Windsor South Pirates. And we flash back to Tuesday for Good Times on the Hardwood with the Trenton High Lady Tornadoes. I'm Mark Fontes with sports. In an up-and-down year for Pirate Ice Hockey, the green and gold always prioritizes the games against rivals like West Windsor North, Robbinsville, and Princeton High. They were in action Wednesday at Mercer County Park's ice rink. Exams keeping fans out of the stands. We do hope everyone's been doing well on their tests. One cluster of South fans did make some time on this Wednesday for their Pirates taking on the always challenging Princeton High Little Tigers. First period, Will Greenberg will take this puck, move down the ice as I move behind two student photogs. Greenberg's shot stopped, but Mike Wasson comes lunging in and gets the Little Tigers on the board. What a turn of events as Wasson and teammates celebrate. Here's the play again. The puck even hard to see with Wasson coming in front of it, but he nudges it just past South goalie John Plester and the Pirates' Henry Way, who was defending Wasson. South on offense, Chris Colacello to Kyle Inverso. He shoots it is just wide. Good break for Princeton. Late in the first, the Little Tigers would go on a power play. There's Wasson again with the puck. He shoots. It's off the post. Plester breathes a sigh of relief but had to remain on top of things. Matthew DeTosto of the Tigers shoots. Nice save by Plester, who again keeps the puck away. Early in the second period, the team switched sides. Princeton's Bense Stipsis will set up here. He shoots, and he creases the net for the Little Tigers' second goal. Beautiful shot for the freshman. We will show it to you one more time. Credit to Tosto with the assist here as Stipsis just shoots it, and it beautifully just finds its way in there with 8.48 to play in the second period. But the Pirates did not take long to respond. 11 seconds later, Steve Cangelosi shoots. It's no good, but the puck finds its way in off Matthew Sadie's stick. And, yeah, that's how it feels to score like that, especially after the earlier Wasson goal for PHS. One more look at it. Tiger goalie Josh Berger fails to glove it. That sets up Sadie's opportunity, and Berger also misses swatting it away, so a frustrating way to give one up, but nonetheless a 2-1 to -one game. Late in the second, the Pirates got to go on a 5-on-3, but Berger and the Tiger defense did their job. In the third, DeTosto scored for PHS, and that wrote a finish as they win 3-1 over the Pirates. And now in this WZBN Sports flashback, the Trenton High Lady Tornadoes even up the odds with Notre Dame in lieu of the Irish boys winning Tuesday at Tornado Alley. Diara Tatum, Monet Fields, and friends not used to having three losses at this point of the season, but the Trenton High Lady Tornadoes only looking forward Tuesday. Fields to the net. She banks that with no trouble. Irish go on offense. Michaela Sipos, look at her find that open lane, dishing it to Carla Macaroni. No good, but Anna Bakoven demonstrates teamwork. Tatum looking to inbound the ball later. Finds Shaqua Fowler, who turns to six-point halftime lead for Trenton High. Sipos way up court with it to a wide-open Liz Dobrowalski, who heads to the paint and nets the points. Tornadoes, though, increasing their lead to nine by the end of quarter number three. Sipos with that speed on a breakaway takes it all the way to the hole. Big play for the junior as the bench gives her props. Tatum back with it for Trenton finding her way around Notre Dame's defense. She hits that. Later in the fourth quarter Tatum with the ball back. Heading inside the arc, looking to pass, does to Fowler in the lane, and Fowler's on point again. Lady Tornado's up by 12 with 6.45 to go in the game. Olivia Lewandowski connects with Sipos. She looks, surveys her options, decides to take it herself, and it's in there. But despite Sipos's brilliant day on both offense and defense and solid productivity from teammates, the Irish just could not weather the tornado storm Tuesday. Trenton High's strong fourth quarter propels them to a 14-point win that afternoon in Lawrence, and they are now 10-3. and three. Just a reminder, the sights and sounds of CVC basketball brought to you here on WZBN by the Hamilton Township Education Association, members working to ensure your child's future success. And finally, Team of the Day is brought to you by Prior NAMI Business Systems. Whether it's building servers, designing your website, or creating custom systems, you can count on Prior NAMI. Robbinsville Ravens ice hockey was on fire Wednesday despite being on the ice. Their 3-2 win over West Windsor North improved them to 11-4-1 on the year and now makes them a favorite to win at least their division. In the game against the Knights, Sean Cox, Eric Hildebrand, and Logan Fredericks all creased the net for the Ravens, our Prior NAMI Team of the Day. That is all for sports on this Thursday. In a moment, Mercer County close-up.